Okay, so before we get into this video, again, it was very windy. It's been so windy recently, and because of where the Astro is, it, the wind just absolutely blasts across. But I have fixed the camera with the microphone now that will stop the wind, so that's always good. But today, I'm going to be teaching you five different ways to take a free kick during a game, during training, if you want to just practice it, wherever you want, just with a friend or on your own. You only need two people for these five demonstrations. There is more that I can do, but I need more people. If you want to see that, then leave this video a like. Right now, you've just seen some warm-up clips in the background, but we're going to go into the five different ways of taking free kicks. All right, so for these free kicks, I'm not going to touch on them that much. You're just going to in-swing it over the wall, get a little bit of a dip on it, and you're going to try and aim for that top left-hand corner. Now, there normally would be three or four people in the wall, but obviously there's only two of us that night. The key with this one is the run-up. If you see, I always come from further left of the ball. If you're left-footed again, come further right. So I'm kind of on an angle a little bit. Sometimes I'm close to a 90-degree angle, which is like quite far out, but it gives me that curl and the whip I can get, and also the dip just comes from a little bit of power and balance. Like I say, pretty straightforward. You guys can get this one easy. Okay, so this one kind of comes from the same position as I've just spoke about in the first one. Apart from you're going to try and catch the keeper out. Now, as you see in these demonstrations, basically what you do, you wait for the keeper to step, which all keepers will. They'll set a wall up and then they'll set themselves on one side of the goal, but they'll automatically step one side to go towards where the wall's covering, just because that's where normally people will put the free kick. And then if you catch them out and go the side they're already on, they'll have to step back and try and save it. Maybe this would be good if you already did an in-swinger into the top left, and then you thought, okay, he knows where I'm going to go, so I'm going to try and catch him out this time. Alright, so for the first two free kicks, you only need yourself to do it, really. But for this one, you're going to need a partner. And then if you get in a game with the same player you've been practicing with, because me and Brad play together in the same team, you can kind of talk to each other and you can try and give it a go. Now, for this one, you want to look as if you're going to run up to the ball and put it in the top left or the top right or wherever. And then you're just going to slow down and just chip it up for a half volley. Now, the half volley is better than the volley. You can get way more power behind it. I feel like you can get more curl and swerve on the ball, as you can see by the demonstrations. And yeah, I just feel like there's a lot more chance you can hit it with a lot more power. But the only problem with this one is that the defenders will close you down really quick, so you kind of need to do it really fast. In the demonstrations, it might look like I did it really quick, but this was kind of just to show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so for this one, I think it's the hardest one to try and pull off in a game, and it has been done before, and when it does happen, it's all over Twitter and social media, like, oh my god, amazing goal, because it is really difficult to pull off. It's much harder than the half volley, I feel, but it's much quicker, so you can get it done much easier, but it is really difficult to hit the target. But don't be discouraged, make sure you try it with your friends and stuff, in practice and stuff, and if you get the chance, then give it a go in a game. Alright, so for this last one, I feel like it's one of my favourite ones because I've used it in a game, we've scored from it before. But I just feel like there's a lot of control over the free kick, it gives you a lot of space and you're kind of running onto the ball for a clean shot. It's all about kind of the fake of having the shot, which is important. For the demonstrations, we only showed a few kind of fakes, but... It's running over the ball the first guy, then you're going to lay the guy through, which gives the gap between you and the wall, and it kind of just works really well, like I say, I've scored from it before, but make sure you just keep practicing in training, that's probably the best place to try it, so if you get a free kick in training, just give it a go, you might as well practice it there, because if you fail, then it doesn't really matter, and then when you get a chance, throw it in a game.